Hi guys, it's that time of the week already and I am going to do some more of your questions. Um, I'm just going to do like three questions tonight because um, I don't want to go like massively over 10 minutes and do another huge video. Um, <laughs> so, okay, right. First question I'm going to ask is, answer is from Chris George and he says, I'm really lost when I try to think my name. Trouble is that I love my male name, but I'm just not comfortable with anything else other than Chris. <clears throat> Would you say that it's better to move completely away from your male name? And do you think that keeping it keeps you attracted to your old previous self? Um, <clears throat> difficult one. Um, I suppose in a lot of ways I'm quite... Um, qualified to answer this because I have basically kept my male name, um, <clears throat> which is, um, I don't know, it's like, there was, there's reasons for and against. Um, it certainly makes it easier on your friends and your family to, like, for one, not have to remember a different name, and two, because perhaps it makes things a little bit easier for them because they're not suddenly calling you by a different name you know they still although you're starting to look different they can call you by your original name which has got to make things more um easy for them to adjust to um <clears throat> then also I don't know. I mean, if you've got a gender neutral name, it's a bonus because you, you know, you can change it if you want to, or you can just keep it. Um, I kept mine because I like it and it suits me. And I thought first and foremost, because of, I liked it, but also because I knew it was going to make it easier for my friends. Um, and I mean there was a time when I did feel like it was dragging me back to my former self and I didn't really <clears throat> I don't know like I think after my FFS I suddenly felt really like oh you know I'm I feel like a new person now and I feel different and I don't want to use my old name um, so I was using my middle name, which um, which incidentally only required moving an A from what it was previously. Um, so it wasn't a massive difference again. Um, and and I kind of wanted this separation, like exactly like you say. I wanted a new name, a new me, and I didn't want association suddenly with the old name. Um, and then over time I've kind of gone full circle like some friends were like look why you, you know your name suits you you know it's this like don't like start changing your name now like if you're going to do it then um, so I kind of it was good because I kind of tried it out a bit with new people that I met I'd be like oh, hi um, my name's this and you know um, <clears throat> and I think now it's because I feel more comfortable in my sort of self and me like as a woman that I don't, I quite like having a gender neutral name, I quite like the fact it's a bit androgynous. Um, I feel secure enough in who I am and how people will kind of see me when they meet me that the fact that I have a gender neutral name just, they're like, oh, you know, people are often like, oh, that's quite a cool name, you know, for a girl. Um, and it's quite a common name for a girl anyway. So, um, so yeah, I, I think for me it works now, but there were times when it didn't sit well and I did, you know, I did think about changing it. Um, initially I just couldn't come up with a different name because everything I tried um, was either just too random or kind of too plain and I also felt like, I don't know, picking a name other than what my parents had given me was like... I felt bad about it, like neither of my parents are alive, like <clears throat> they both died when they were qu when I was sort of still quite young. Um, so I, I don't know, I just, something in me sort of felt that because I could keep my name, 
like if it was something that I had to change, fair enough. But because I could keep it, I would say there was a part of me that wanted to keep it because it was a name that they'd given me. So hey ho. Um, right, next question is from Aussie Goat seventy one, and a few, quite a few people have actually asked me this. Um, my question: Are you attracted to men, women, both, neither, everyone, no one? Um, did your sexual preference change as you transitioned, and at what point? Um, I mean, I'm not going to go into like massive detail. My sexual kind of um, <clears throat> preference has never been and I don't think ever will be something that is clearly definable or clear cut. Um, I think for me that I'm not really someone that likes to put myself in a pigeonhole or a box, you know, I just have my own rules for me. Um, when I was younger I did because I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on with me and I thought that you know all transsexuals were attracted you know all male to female trans all male to female transsexuals were attracted to men you know when I was like I don't know 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 even um or maybe even 17 I don't know but that whole time I was really confused because I was like I'm sure I'm transsexual um and transgender but I don't I'm not really attracted to men so what does that make me you know I'm not even like a proper transsexual like I don't know what I am um, and then I think I sort of became a bit more aware of the world and just like well actually it doesn't really matter who you're attracted to if you feel you're transgender, you're transgender. Your sexuality is like an entirely different um, entity to your gender, of course, you know, like everyone knows that. Duh. But um, it's like, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, you know, and I've learned through experiences, I've learned about myself as time's gone by. And I suppose I just accept that I'm attracted to people um, I can be attracted to a certain person almost kind of regardless of their gender um, based really more on like their personality and how I feel about them and their charisma and how they respond to me and there's all kinds of things and so you know some people might just say okay well you're bisexual well yeah, technically, I suppose that's how you could define it, but it, there's kind of more to it than that. Um, and I'd like to think it's more selective than just, yeah, I can be attracted to anyone, because I can't be attracted to anyone. Um, you know, my sort of... As I've gone through transition, um, <clears throat> yeah, I find I'm attracted to guys a lot more and I guess I kind of think more now, certainly, about, you know, being with a guy. Um, how much of that is to do with hormones? How much of that is to do with the way I feel about myself now and the way that I feel when I'm with a guy? Because obviously that's very different to being with a guy if you're a guy. If you're female, whether you feel female or not, but if you actually like now I feel female, I am female. Um, it's a different experience, it's a different interaction that you have with a guy in that way. Um, so I now, yeah, I'm kind of, I am I am like, you know, definitely attracted to guys. Um, but I don't think I'll ever say, you know, I'm this or I'm that. I'm just, you know, I have my own kind of rules and like things, people that kind of do it for me and people that don't and that's just really down to me and how I feel so yeah um okay final question before you uh set this is from 71 Novocaine <clears throat> before you transitioned when you were sleeping did you dream and see yourself as male or female um I know that after taking hormones your brain starts to rewire itself do you now dream and see yourself as female 
Um, yeah, I, I didn't really, I would occasionally have a dream where I was female, um, which was probably more noticeable, more memorable because I would, it would, you know, it'd be a very vivid dream and I, and I would be like, wow, I had a dream where I was female and it was amazing and God, I just want to go back in that dream and kind of live that moment. Um, but those dreams were very few and far between um, and more, all the more kind of memorable for their infrequent nature. Um, I, I do dream of myself as female now. Yeah, I do. Because now I'll occasionally have a dream where I'm kind of male or like, it's almost like, not like a particularly recurring dream, but it's like maybe a recurring theme of where I'm suddenly in a situation and I'm like dressed in male clothes and I'm me now, but I'm presenting as male and I'm suddenly like, I'm not really aware of it, but then suddenly in the dream, I'm like, shit, like, I'm wearing guy stuff, what am I doing? Um, what the fuck's going on? Um, and it's really weird. And it's hor it's, 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 it's quite, it's quite horrible. It's quite like, you know, and I'll, and I'll wake up and I'll really remember it and be like, oh, oh, you know, cause it just makes me think, God, imagine what it would be like going back to living as male now, like, the worst thing in the world. Um, so, I mean, again, when was that point in time? I don't know. Maybe, I remember when I first started to dream of myself as female regularly, and that was probably, I don't know, sometime last year, you know, when I'd been on hormones for like six months, a year. Um, and I don't, again, I don't know, if that's all down to hormones or it's down to the way you feel about yourself and you know how you go about your life um i don't know or a combination a combination perhaps probably um <clears throat> but yeah it's quite an interesting one and I, and I do think about it sometimes especially when i have one of those dreams because um I wake up and I, I'm quite an analytical kind of person. And I think, you know, quite often I'll have a dream, you know, sometimes, I mean, I have some crazy dreams. And sometimes I know they're just like completely like, like rubbish, um, but quite fun. But then sometimes I have a dream and I wake up and I'll be like, oh, I know exactly what that was about. You know, I know what my brain was trying to figure out and that was that. and. Um, so I do, you know, I will wake up and I'll think, um, hmm, you know, that was, why did I, why did I have a dream when I was suddenly, you know, male again? Or, um, I don't know, I don't know. Um, sometimes I think it's to do with, even now, there are times, and it's more to do with, like, family. Um, I feel like my family perhaps because every now and again I move forward still at the moment and like I've really moved like a long way forward. I don't know if it's evident in my videos, but like in the last sort of I don't know, like eight eight, seven or eight months, I've really feel like I've lost left a lot of the old me behind. And I sometimes think my brothers aren't really comfortable with that. And I think maybe it's the feeling that I'm I'm, so people are trying to pull, pull me back and so I'm suddenly dreaming that I'm in that moment and it's like a knee-jerk reaction to oh I don't want to be here oh god this is horrible and it's my brain saying you know don't let people stop you from being who you are now I don't know that's my, that's my interpretation of it anyway um, okay I'm going to wrap this video up so um send me more requests because uh, I really enjoy making these videos and um, uh, yeah so I'll see you guys again next week uh, put your comments in the box and stay gorgeous bye